Welcome back everyone. Today is the second episode of Basic of Wheel and we're going to talk about wheel sizing. I've got with me today the Osaka, which is a brand new wheel in a satin black finish. This wheel has a size of 18 by 7 with a 5 by 114 bolt pattern. If we break down these numbers, you'll find that the diameter is 18 inches and the width is 7 inches. But keep in mind that you can't change the overall diameter of your wheel by more than 3%. Because if you do, you'll throw away your speedometer. And if you decide to change the width of your wheel, make sure that you have enough clearance. The second important number is the bolt pattern. On this wheel, the bolt pattern is 5 by 114.3, but you can also find on the market other things like 4 by 100 or 6 by 139. If we break down this information, the first number is the amount of lugs. The second number is the diameter of an imaginary circle formed by the lug hole. The bolt pattern is extremely important because if you take the wrong one, the wheel won't fit on your vehicle. After that, we have the hub bore. The hub bore is the hole behind your wheel to mount it on your vehicle. The center bore is calculated in millimeters. As an example, the Osaka center bore is 60.1 millimeters. This said, sometimes the center bore is a direct fit. But in other case, the hub bore of the wheel is bigger than the one on your vehicle. You then need a hub ring. The hub ring allows the wheel to sit tight on your car. You will then reduce the chance of vibration while you're driving. Making bigger hub bore wheel allows them to fit more vehicle on the market. The last one is the offset. But since it is a more complicated subject, we'll talk about it in the next episode. Since you know how to size your wheel, you can go on rtxwheels.com to find the perfect one.